We've got a great Inside More episode for you this month. We'll start by showing you how kinders are learning some valuable skills through fun dance classes at the Moore Community Center. Plus, we'll look at how one more business is digging up fun and adventure for kids of all ages. But before that, I've got to rush over to Moore's newest eatery and pick up my delicious homemade pizza. It's going to be done in like five minutes, so I got to go. I got to go right now. I got to go. Sauce, cheese, toppings, heat, lots of heat, and five minutes is all it takes to enjoy fresh homemade pizza at Moore's latest eatery, Pie Five. There's some people that are shocked. They come in expecting a traditional pizza place. Do I go sit down? Is it going to be 10 minutes? And all of a sudden they, they look and their pizza's right in front of them. And they're like, wow, how did that happen? Billy Bajima, franchisee of Moore's newest concept restaurant, knew he had a good business opportunity when he discovered Pi 5 during a career change. Oh, Billy, what was that first career again? I was a high school quarterback at Westmore and defensive end and went to Oklahoma State and played tight end there for, for four years and then I got drafted by the 49ers and spent some time there and then went to St. Louis in the middle of my career and finished up in 2013 with the Baltimore Ravens. In 2012, I, I got signed with the Ravens right, right as training camp was started and, and it turned out to be a heck of a year and we ended up winning the whole thing. That's right, Moore's very own Super Bowl champion once fed our country's appetite for hard-hitting football. Now he's returned to Moore to feed our insatiable appetite for a good pizza pie. And in order to do that, Billy has teamed with a pizza company that believes fast doesn't mean poor quality. Pie 5 is personal, handcrafted personal pizzas in five minutes. Five years ago, the oven technology wasn't there to cook a pizza so fast and have the same type of, of concept like, like you see for burritos or, or things like that where you can get, get the product so quickly, but um, you know, there's nothing pre-made about it. It's, it's fresh, fully cooked personal pizzas with you know, crispy crusts and everything. At Pie 5, you can get any pizza you want, really. Carrots on a pizza? Sure, why not? How about mushrooms, olives, artichoke hearts, or any number of the 16 veggie, 8 meat, 4 cheese, and 7 sauce toppings you can choose from? The combinations are endlessly tasty. I really like the chicken carbonara because it has bacon on it, and you can't really go wrong with bacon. My favorite signature pizza um, is probably the buffalo chicken. We have a really good buffalo ranch sauce, and and uh, it's just, it's got a little kick to it, but not too much, and it's really good. If you need some help choosing, Pie 5 has some signature pies, like the popular High Five and Athenian. Don't worry about cost either. Every pizza is the same price, around seven bucks. But to get the true Pie 5 experience, we recommend adding a salad or dessert to your pizza order. The salads, just like the pizzas, are made in front of you with fresh ingredients. The desserts are homemade in the back, sometimes by the man himself. Now, you might not expect a Super Bowl champ to be making brownies after a career in football, and Billy would agree with you. He didn't expect it either. But Pie 5 and Billy Bajima turns out to be a match made in heaven for staff and customers. On weekends here and in the evenings, and there's a lot of times there's a line at the door, so we're, we're working hard to move them through as quickly as, as we can. Just a few trips to Pie 5 reveals the character of the staff at the Moore location. It's customer service with a fun, laid-back attitude. That means shirts with custom labels, tossing fresh-made pizza dough, even if it's just for fun. And the topping for this pie are staff members like David and Blake. David uses his skills at sign language to assist deaf customers, and Blake used the video skills he is learning at OCCC to create a fun video for the franchise. So I was a little nervous about it, but I also, it helps knowing everybody and knowing like, okay, just so like, I know where to be at the right time to get the right shots and stuff. So that was helpful. So, but it was a lot of fun too. An innovative concept in pizza seems like the perfect addition to Moore's growing food scene. And to see local legends returning to their roots to help build the Moore economy, well, that's just about the best topping there is. For more information on Pi 5, consult the following contact information.
Our girls were dressed up in costumes and what we, what we do in the fall is we have, and in the middle of the spring, we have kind of an in-class show is what we call it, where the parents can come in for the last 20 minutes of class and observe what we've been teaching their children over the past couple of months. You know, it's a really special moment for the parents and for the girls because they get to show them, you know, this is what I've been learning, look how awesome I'm, I'm doing, and then the parents are beaming with pride, obviously. Tippy Toes was started by two ladies in Norman after they finished college, and they were looking for a way to help kids gain self-esteem and express themselves through movement. We teach kids how to dance, but we also teach them how to love dance and love movement and love rhythm and love music. And so we are able to do that through a recreational style um, dance approach. We aren't in here drilling them on ballet technique, partially because they're so young, but also because we want them to love it. We don't want them to get burnt out. We want them to grow and learn and to continue dancing through the years. And so we really try to instill a good, a good balance of self-esteem and passion for dance. I fully believe that this is one of the best ways that you can um, enter the dance world because this is how I entered was I was two and I started with a recreational studio and then it was my decision to go on um, once I got to high school to join a ballet company and, and go the further step. And I feel that if I hadn't had the confidence and the love for dance and the fun that I had, then I, I don't think I would have pursued it. Uh, our younger girls, we really see them grow. Even from day one in class, we could have a girl who is crying, sobbing, doesn't want to leave mom, never wants to be alone, and then by the end of the semester or by the end of the year, she's on stage, smiling, loving what she's doing, and she's you can just see the confidence blossom in these girls. So when I have a two-year-old who is extremely anxious, kind of wants to be with mom, doesn't really understand why, like mom's not in the room, or, or something like that, just watching them through the weeks, like forget that mom's not there, and get up and do things by themselves, and kind of um, just helping with those social skills and building friendships, I think is the best part. I think self-confidence, especially in girls and young women is crucial, especially in today's society. We have so many different areas that are telling us that we're not good enough. And so we try to make Tippy Toes a safe haven for these girls, for them to express their creativity and be who they want to be. Again, I watch friendships get built every day. There's little girls who, you know, they see each other in class and like, yes, it's so exciting to be here. And, and that's really great. So I, I do think that these kids are definitely taking that away from this. We're really blessed because they, they support each other. They encourage each other. And I believe that that is because of the atmosphere that we create at Tippy Toes, that you can love yourself and be yourself. These girls, they just absorb that. the same as archaeology. Archaeology is prehistoric artifacts that um, that have been discovered and have been around for a long, long time. Paleontology is about dinosaurs and archaeology is about humans. Um, Digging in dirt. <laughs> Digging in dirt, of course. It's also the study of understanding the human past and how we have modeled in the real world the human past. Today is the archaeology workshop. We're with Open Range Archaeology. We're a private archaeology firm, but we're working in conjunction with Project Archaeology, which is a nonprofit. October will be Oklahoma Archaeology Month, hopefully, for many years to come. And there'll be events throughout the state each October. 2015 is the first year that Archaeology Month has been an official celebrated month in the state of Oklahoma. So we wanted to make sure that we you know, gave a good showing and had an opportunity for kids to come out learn some hands-on archaeology. I have drawn a picture on a cable. We got to make maps, make maps, make arrowheads, a lot of things. And digging dirt. Yeah. 
There are little simulated excavations, so they can find um, some charcoal and miniature burned rock features and miniature hearths um, that would, you know, in a broader, in a bigger unit, be a lot like what archaeologists would find in the field. I have dig, dig inside a muffin to find m and kind of like artifacts or something, but but the good thing about doing that, you 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 actually get to eat the artifacts. It's really fun. You dig and you dig for things, and like when you find something, you get that feeling inside, like yes, kind of thing. I think it's important to Oklahomans because um, Oklahoma is a state of. Uh, a mix of people. We have a lot of Native American cultures that are indigenous to the area. We have Native American cultures who were brought into the area. Archaeology in Oklahoma is pretty huge. Uh, gosh, we have stuff all the way in like Black Mesa area from you know, uh, 10,000 years all the way up to present, like Santa Fe Trail, historical archaeology. There's, uh, you know, the big site Spyro in eastern Oklahoma. The Cooper site is huge over in western Oklahoma. Specific to Moore, um, of note, of course, is the name of Moore itself, you know, being named after a gentleman who put up a rail car on the side of the train tracks over here. His name was Moore, and he did it so he'd get his mail delivered to him. Um, the town took on that name because there was a rail car on the side, and a town grew up around that. Um, so there's a historical beginning to that, that you know, you wouldn't normally see with other towns. It's sort of unique to Moore itself. It just created itself in a lot of ways. Archaeology is important for kids to know about um, because it really, I think personally, it grounds you kind of where you're at. So um, knowing what happened in the past, where you're living, it makes it personal. It kind of brings history to life. I think it's important for the kids for a couple reasons. Number one, from my own personal experience, Early in life you get a spark, something that kind of informs about history or makes you curious about it. If, if you can catch kids young, you know, they kind of take that curiosity and inspiration into their adult years. And there's not a lot of funding for, you know, certain disciplines, you know, for archaeology, history, and so we want to just provide sort of a, a public forum for people to learn more if they're interested.